family. How's everybody doing today? Today I'm working on making some chicken stock. This is what I do when I, for Thanksgiving, Christmas, make soups. I like, if I'm gonna have some chicken anyway, like I'm, we're gonna have wings today, but I'm taking the wing tips off for my chicken stock. So nothing goes to waste and it makes it delicious. You know, people talk about bone broth. Well, this is, you know, what I do. So I'll take, let's see, a wing. And let me see if, and I'll take, you know, this tip portion right here. tip off. See that? I don't want to touch the uh, camera again because I have, since I've been touching raw chicken, but let's see if I can get up close enough. Okay, so we're going to cut between this joints here. You see this joint? Cut diagonal like that. Keep doing that until they're all done. Got most of them done. Get your sharpest knife. Do not do this with a dull knife, okay? even do it that way. Kind of take the wing, open it up, and cut right in that joint. Because I had these wings in there in the freezer for a little bit, so it's time to eat them. already thinking ahead. It's getting cold, so I want some soup. And I might make enough for, uh, when I already have my stock ready for Thanksgiving, because it's, it's uh, middle October. So it's never too late to get that stuff started. So that's it. And in other videos, I've shown you guys how, let me uh, clean my hands. Hang in with me just a moment. I'm not gonna turn the camera off, okay? So in the past, I've shown you guys how I put, if I get an onion, I slice the end of that onion so you can all, so I can always be ready to make some stock. So see the end of that? And I rinse them off. So I got my Instant Pot here. I'm gonna drop some of those onion my onion in there, I got some, uh, there's some celery in here. And then I'm gonna fill, I'm gonna fill my Instant Pot all the way up with water. I'm gonna put a, a tablespoon, no, I'm gonna put just two teaspoons of salt in this water. And a 
let it cook. And then, so I'm gonna go on and cut these wings down. We're gonna have, I'll just fry up some wingettes. Like I said, I've been getting younger subscribers and I'm saying this is how, it, hey, you gotta, you know, when you're first starting out, you're not making like the full amount of your full most of us, you know, we're starting out starting salaries. Hang on, let me get the water. <laughs> this is real cooking, boo. This is real cooking at Tanya's table. Okay. So I have five quarts of water in here. Let's see. I'm out of my kosher salt. I had kosher salt for years, finally, finally used that box of kosher salt up. So let me just get one table. Yeah, I'm gonna put a full tablespoon. First I said teaspoon, but I'm a low salt person, so. Okay, we're gonna do that. My Instant Pot's a little shy of five quarts. So I'm gonna make it totally five quarts. Okay. But you guys, you get the idea. Okay, so we're gonna pressure cook. We're gonna make, let's see. Put it on broth. Okay, let that do its thing. And these are skills, honey. The lady of the house, you know, we need to, you know, be doing this. Especially if you have a spouse that it's working hard. You know, we both, equal, when we were both married, we both equally worked hard. You know, we all, you know, takes everybody to contribute to the household. So, you know, everybody, I don't care if you're married to a man, woman, whoever, we all want to come home and let that be a place of peace, a place of, you know, where you can get nourished, Mentally, physically, you know, have a good meal. And so today, so now my husband's full time out, works outside the home, which he has been for all of our marriage, 30 years, and I'm working inside the home. And I spent 25 years in the workforce so now, so it's going in. So that's all the chicken. So the moral of the story is you take small bits like this, you can cut them up, you can put them in a freezer bag, put them in the freezer until you're ready to use them. Same thing with the onion. And sometimes I'll cut that onion a little thicker from the end because I know I'm going to uh, save them for stock, okay? So that is how, and then I'll come back when it's all done, okay? Let me wash my hands before I shut this camera off. I have some antibacterial soap over here. And then what I do, I clean the sink in the area, hot soapy water, and then I'll put a disinfectant all around. But yes, you see what I did here? 
You cut an onion, I need to cut that off. Cut an onion off, stick it in a freezer bag, put it in that freezer. And then this will last a good month or two. You put it in your deep freezer, it'll last a good six months. So I keep one handy in my uh, indoor freezer. And then if you have like a deep freezer, then I also will have a pack out there as well. Okay, guys? Okay, family, it smells amazing. So this is our chicken broth, chicken stock, just finished. And then once it cools down a little bit, I use a strainer. Let me step back a little bit. I use a strainer and then I'll portion it out. This is just five quarts. Yeah, so I'll have these, I'll have portion it out into these cups here. It's like uh, four cups, it might be three. Put three cups into each container and so if I need to freeze it, you know, I won't have a big block of something to defrost. So I just kind of portion it out in smaller units, okay? All right, so that's it. So that's how I make my homemade chicken stock for the holidays. This is a very big part of a, a holiday dinner because it's gonna season the dressing, the greens, beans, vegetables the gravy and everything all right okay guys thanks so much for tuning in i appreciate your support and glad you stopped by and if you like my vibe hit subscribe and join the tribe and hit the and hit that bell notification so you'll be notified the next time i upload any new content thank you so much see you in my next video bye bye mom